Here's seven behind the scenes facts about Creed, starring Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone. Creed's story was based on an idea that the future Black Panther director Ryan Coogler came up with when he witnessed his dad suffer from a neuromuscular disorder. Coogler was an athlete growing up, and he and his father were very close, and his father was a huge Rocky fan and made Coogler watch Rocky II before all of his games. And later on in life, when his father was severely weakened from his illness, Coogler came up with a story idea for Creed when he wondered about what it would be like if this happened to his father's hero, Rocky. Even though Stallone built his career with the Rocky franchise, he was actually dead set against being Rocky again after hanging up his gloves with 2006's Rocky Balboa. However, three people were responsible for changing his mind. The first was Ryan Coogler's deeply personal relationship with Rocky because of his dad. The second was Stallone's agent calling him chicken for not wanting to do the movie. And the third was his wife, who encouraged him to take on the challenges that the movie had in store for Rocky and not try to change the story. Stallone did agree to pass the torch onto a new generation of filmmakers by choosing not to write the script for Creed. But this didn't mean that he gave up complete control over how Rocky was depicted, because Stallone admitted on Instagram that he rewrote Rocky's dialogue for every scene he was in so that it would be more authentic to the character and more comfortable for him to perform. Just as the film was entering pre-production, Stallone's oldest son Sage died of a heart attack at the very young age of 36, which almost sent the actor into a full breakdown. But Coogler was able to convince him to use the film as a dedication to Sage by focusing on all the film's father-son relationships. And the director even insisted on having Sage represented in the movie by using a real photo in Polly's room that shows Stallone as a younger Rocky pictured with his young son, Sage. Michael B. Jordan went through an intense training and diet program for over a year in order to gain 24 pounds of muscle in time for filming. He worked out two to three times a day, six days a week, with boxing training three days a week since he wouldn't have a body double. Jordan also ate six meals every day for six days of the week, consisting of high proteins and carbs. And since they were filming in Philadelphia, he couldn't help but indulge himself with Philly cheesesteaks on his cheat day. Ryan Coogler flexed some serious directing muscles in Donnie's fight against Leo Sparino by filming the entire fight in one continuous four-minute tracking shot. It's arguably the most impressive scene in any Rocky movie, and what's even more amazing is that everything had to be flawless for the shot to work, and it reportedly took them 10 takes before they got it right. As the new star of the Rocky legacy, Michael B. Jordan went through a rite of passage by taking some real punches. And one of the punches he really took was the slow-mo shot from the big fight because of how hard it would be to fake it. Even though Jordan said he didn't really get knocked out, the actor admitted that it still hurt and made him see stars. But the worst part was that the first take didn't work because Tony Bellow's glove got in the way of the shot, so they had to do it again. And after taking the second hit, Jordan knew it must have worked out because when he hit the canvas, everyone was quiet on the set because they thought he really got knocked out. Click a video on the screen for more great content right here on Fun Fact Films.